have just spoken. In fact, no less a personage than the god Dionysius, the great equivocator and tempter, to whom, as you know, I once offered in all secrecy and reverence my first fruits. The last, as it seems to me, who has offered a sacrifice to him, for I have found no one who could understand what I was then doing. In the meantime, however, I have learned much, far too much, about the philosophy of this god, and, as I said from mouth to mouth, I, the last disciple and initiate of the god of Dionysius. And perhaps I might at last begin to give you, my friends, as far as I am allowed, 